after Civil War. Factions, one military elite unit fighting another, fighting another, nukes being launched from one state to another. I mean, a total completely dismembering in the United States. And um, the United States doesn't even really figure that life will go on after that. But after the United States is gone, the globe goes on. Yeah, the that's is just going to be the, time. The, you know, the, is the first big sacrifice, and then after that, the, the world goes on. The, the United States has ended, and everyone goes, wow. Well, you know, Jesus said this would happen. You know, in Matthew 24, he said, nation will rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom, and there'll be earthquakes in many places happening, and great plagues and famines. And just remember this, in the United States, they've already set it up, that code red is martial law. Once they go to Code Red, every airport, every interstate, every phone call, the Internet, the whole thing is over that day, yeah, that I, moment. I guess the important thing I'm trying to get across, too, is that people need to be seeking the Lord and not waiting uh, for government, Big Brother, to, to, to forewarn you of a disaster coming to take care of you because they'd rather have you dead. But, so you need to be following the Lord and listening to Him. If He's wanting you to get out of an area, get out of it. Yeah, and, that, and, that's very true. G and Jesus said, watch and be ready, and, yeah. you know, be ready for his leaving. I don't think the earth changes are going to kill the most people. I believe that the most people are going to be killed by biologicals. I, I believe that the biological weapon virus is getting loose that could kill every living thing on earth. That kind of thing is going to be unleashed and uh, will kill the third of mankind. You know, that those are the plagues to come. You know, the vials, when, when the Bible says vile, it means a vial of virus. <laughs> Just think virus in a vial being poured out. Like smallpox and anthrax. But worse than that, things that we don't even have names for that can kill every single person on Earth. They may not be successful in that. People would be immune here and there, but I'm just saying that the level of the technology, they have that technology now. It's just a matter of some hothead, someone getting loose, a mistake being made. Anything could happen to unleash this. Yeah, so a lot of these attacks, they're, they're foretold. The judgments coming are indeed biological attacks. It's, you know, described in the Bible in John's own way. Yeah, and when you talk, when they say vials, of, what do you think vials means? A vial, that's where you store up virus, like a botulitum virus be stored in a vial. Yeah, I think the church, the church translates that into the bowl judgments. Oh, like these bowl, vials bowl. are bowls, and they're filled with something and it's poured out in the air. It's kind of a liquid, right? Yeah. <laughs> and, it, and it's a well, vial is like much a more third of mankind. Yeah, vial is like a vi more like virus, that. something in a yeah. laboratory. Yeah. So. And we know that some of them is, is going to affect the, the, you know, the trees and the land itself and, and kill millions of people. Well, you know, we, we talked about this. I'm having trouble hearing stuff again. Okay, you want me to speak up louder? Yeah, I don't want to talk over you. Okay, so how's that? that? That's good. Okay, I, I'm going to keep it, you know, very... Uh, keep my microphone right here. Yeah, I'm just, sometimes it's going in and out on me, and I just, you know, if I'm not answering the questions, just because I'm, I'm blocked out for the minute. Uh, okay. <laughs> yeah, I don't want to talk over you, Seth. I want to hear what you're saying. You know, the, the thing about Satanism, you know, that I have to say, like, I saw basically what they do to people that are not on their side is they feel justified in delivering maximum pain, maximum trauma, maximum uh, turmoil, maximum stuff like that to those people who are not part of it. And they feel completely 100% justified in doing this to all of our people because why? Because we are a threat to their system. Yeah, and what people need to realize is that the government is Satanist. They're, yeah. not, well, yeah, they're not looking out for our interests. They want to destroy us. They enforce that system and the thing they're looking out for, and, and you know, why they have so many uh, government agents, low level, that are in schools and here and there, is again to contain anyone who's waking up. You start waking up to, hey, it's all satanic, man, and you start freaking out like that, getting really paranoid. There are people there to deal with you, so that, because a lot of times, someone that doesn't have the Lord, they wake up to it, they feel betrayed. A lot of times they'll pick up a gun and go shoot back at those people who have been hurting them, right? Yeah. When they find out you've been betrayed, lied, set up, even been given disease, you might pick up a gun and go shoot those people that did it. It might be your family. It might be the office you work at. It might be, you know, your co-workers. It, you might have been surrounded and gamed your whole life. So one of the things that the Lord has been showing me, and I'm writing this, the last chapter of one of my books, it's, it's on the destruction of America in one hour. 
And the thing he has showed me over and over again is that we all know that through Rex 84, that internment camps have been built across this country from one end to the other. Uh, the trains are ready to, to cart Christians off of these camps and, and eliminate and destroy them. And what I'm seeing over and over again in Revelation chapter 18 is that while this is going on, while approximately 60 million Americans are hauled off to their deaths, life continues as normal for everybody else. Life, well, life will continue as normal. Life continues as normal. Society is still, you know, is still going on as a daily society. Nobody's panicking. Nobody's freaking out. There's not a big war. But, but when you say Christian in Nazi Germany. Life's going to continue as normal as 60 million people are killed. And, you know, the media contains it. Nobody else in the world knows what's going on because they contain it here in America. Uh, the kings of the earth don't know that America is eliminating 60 million of its own citizens. Well, there are more... There are more it's going to be a silent holocaust, and, it, and it's horrifying to think of that. Well, that's true, Show. You know, there, there are more, quote, Christians or Protestants or Christian churches in America than the whole world put together. So, I mean, there is the greatest resistance in America than... than and they're going to eliminate you know, every bit of it. It's going to be the, you know, the, the silent one of the saints, the Antichrist plans. And, of course, it's all going to be run uh, by the White House, by our government. It's going to be eliminating all these people, keeping it quiet from the rest of the world. And meanwhile, everybody else is just living their daily lives. You know, people are disappearing left and right. They're being taken and, and trains. Maybe they're being lied to. They want to know where their missing family members are. They're being lied to. They're not being told that they're being hauled out to camps and killed. But life uh, continues on as normal while this is going on. Until, 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 until the Lord destroys it. Until the Lord destroys America in one hour. And he's, but until then, life goes on. He has so already, life went on in Nazi Germany while they were, were killing um, Jews and uh, communists. Yeah, and they get rid of all the Torah-believing Jews, and what they're going to do now is, is get rid of all the Bible-believing Jews. Uh, yeah, well, that's us. That's anybody who loves the Lord. Well, yeah, it's really, really, it has to do with truth, people who are of the truth, who are of God. Uh, those people that are on the truth, they could be uh, uh, someone who's standing for the Constitution. They, they may not be completely up on what's going on with God. They may not even have yet a relationship, but people who seek truth are godly people, and they will come into full relationship with God. He is the only truth there is. And so when you have truth seekers or, or a threat to the system, any threat is going to be locked up in those camps, not just, say, quote, Christian, because a lot of these Christians... Yeah, that's what I said in the first hour. It's going to be resistors. Anybody who they deem right. is going to be a resistor to the New World Order. No, I don't so, believe the conformed Christian in, these, in the church system and the I church system. I have a question system. for you. What's that? Well, the, the, the Christian in the beast church system that is conformed to the system who is for the Luciferic system, I don't believe they will be in the camps, the official Christian with the label Christian. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Oh, that's definitely. The, because it's got to be the real thing they're looking for. The, 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 the conformed Christian is really, a lot of these people are enforcing the rules of society on other people. You could be a Christian so long as you conform to the church, in other words. Then they will leave you alone. Well, Seth, doesn't the Bible say the real persecution starts when the Antichrist is, is all upon the earth? No, it says before. It says before he Well, there's home. always been persecution of, of the people of God. They've always been persecuted in this world. But in our world, you know, we have a, we have a world opposite of this one. And... In our world, where Jesus is on the throne here, uh, the person who would be a Satanist, they would be persecuted in our world. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, they won't be in ours, and, and we're obviously, well, there's no room for us in theirs, which is, you know, they're trying to make this one now theirs. Right, that's it. There's no room for us, and they've killed so many, like all my friends I grew up with that were really good people, pure hearts and stuff, they killed all those people. And so that's, that's the deception of the churches today. They think that they're going to be raptured and taken out of the earth before all this happens. Well, and that stuff's going to happen that, before that even happens. Well, that kind of thinking is, you know, that's because they're so miserable in their own lives. They need some sort of a, you know, something to hold on to because they know they're going to hell the way they're going. They, they Deep down, they know they're going the complete opposite way of God. But they're told once saved, always saved. They're guaranteed heaven. They're unpluckable. But they don't even know what heaven is. You ask them. They say, what do you, what, what, what do you think heaven is? They have no idea. They say, I don't really want to go to heaven because it seems like it would be really boring. 